you know, before we sign off, we should talk about GATA a little. Sure. Uh, what, what, would you, what would you like to know? Well, what is your position in GATA? You're involved with them. Well, I've, I've been involved with GATA since 2000, ever since I stumbled across Bill Murphy's La Metropole Cafe website and, and Chris Powell, who formed GATA um, uh, with $500 donation apiece. And uh, I was invited to be on their board, I think, back in 2005 or six or something like that. And the organization, uh, which was laughed at and scorned at, um, along with all the other people who were thinking that, you know, there's nothing wrong with the prices of precious metals, have now learned in the intervening 15 years that that, that is not the case, and Chris and Bill and myself have been shouting it from the rooftops for 15 years, and now we have a huge, wide audience, and there's very few people out there that are involved in the precious metals now that don't know the markets are being actively managed, and it's uh, it's obvious everywhere. And uh, uh, so this has been going on for, like I said, 15 years, and I'll, I can tell you the truth right now, Mike. You know, I've been doing this for 15 years, and I'll be glad when it's over so I can hang it all up. But... Um, uh, they continue to pound and hammer away at the gates of, uh -huh. the, of the powers that be. And uh, one of these days, uh, they're, they're going to crack, and that day is uh, obviously at hand as far as I can tell. Yeah, what I've seen is that when I first met uh, Chris and Bill, uh, the mainstream considered them tinfoil hatters. Uh, you know, yeah, exactly. conspiracy That's exactly theorists. What they thought but one by one, all of these accusations that they had made are being proven true. That's absolutely true, and there's no question about that. And uh, uh, every day you find more and more people uh, coming around to that point of view. I see um, um, uh, Ross Norman at uh, Sharps Pixley finally came around to that conclusion that some Mr. Big was sitting on the gold price. That was the headline of my column this morning. It was on the uh, Sharps Pixley website last night. So when you see people like that who are blue blood British establishment coming out and saying that, hey, the markets are rigged, uh, you know that um, the work of people like Chris Powell and Bill Murphy and uh, silver analyst Ted Buckler and your work and my work and a whole army of people have grown from basically zero in 2000 to what we see today, it, you know that... Um, Everybody knows what's going on because, you know, as Chris Powell said, there are no markets anymore, only interventions. And as we've seen in LIBOR and everything else, that's turned out to be the case. And it certainly is in gold and silver because as long as they can come keep gold and silver under control as far as price is concerned, then they can control the entire commodities complex with it, keep inflation down and keep the paper currencies strong, especially the U.S. dollar, which is the world's reserve currency. But at the same time, and on the other, other side of the coin, the commodity-producing nations, whether they be Central America or South America or Africa, Russia, or even the United States, especially Canada. How about Australia? You know, all the commodity-producing nations of the world who are down in the dumps right now would be making fair market value for their, for their commodities, whether it be iron ore or tin or aluminum or whatever it is. And uh, all the world's nations would be far better off than they are today, but the United States, which has been ruling the world for the last hundred odd years, uh, doesn't really want to see that because they want to be the biggest, um, biggest and meanest guy on the block, and uh, they do it by suppressing commodity prices, especially gold and silver. But their days as a reserve currency and as the biggest uh, nation on the world is in the world is uh, is going to be coming to an end real soon. At least that's my opinion. Yeah. So anybody that uh, wants to know more about uh, the gold manipulation should go to gata.org. That's the Gold Antitrust Action Committee, and uh, there's a wealth of information there. There has been for years. Uh, so, Ed, I want to thank you very much. This was a great interview, and uh, and once again, uh, you publish daily. Am I correct? Yeah, uh, five days a week. Uh, my daily commentary is normally up on the Internet about 5.30 Eastern time every morning. Um, and um, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's lots of, lots of reading there because I cover the, the silver and precious metals market from one end to the other. So anybody that's interested, uh, check out edsteergoldandsilver.com. So thanks a lot, Ed, and um, we'll be talking again soon. And, Mike, I really appreciate you having me on. Okay. Thanks. Bye.